Is what it is, right? What else been going on, bro? It's another thing. Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J. Cole. Mm-hmm. Why are you laughing like that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> bro, first of all, it's not even Kendrick Lamar, Drake, J. Cole. We got Future. This is, I don't even know where we should start. It's the hip-hop civil war. Let me, let me ask you this. What? Because you work at uh, QC. Mm-hmm. What does it do for the industry? Like, does this... What does what do? Like, this civil war. To, like, you got to choose a side? I don't got to choose... Not you, but, yeah. like, is, I mean, it, is I, it conversations in the office? Like, I'm, it ain't no conversation. I mean, not for me. Like, I mean, honestly, bro, I, like, what I'm doing at QC, bro, like, I'm about to, like, baby money gearing up to drop his next project. That's what I'm focused on. All the mother niggas is super duper rich. You know what I mean? Like, but I feel like... The biggest misconception in, in in hip hop or just men in general is that men don't talk. Mm. Like they always talk about, oh man, it, it, it's, that's female. Just be talking, bro. Talk every group of you could think of. Street is at the job, is at 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 the movies, is anywhere, bro. Just talking mm. about any and that. They talking about other niggas, whether they like the or not. They with the niggas or not. They think niggas is clowns or goofies or whatever the case may be. I don't know the intricacies as to why people got differences. I just feel like a, a Kendrick and Drake thing has been brewing since 2012. Since 2013. Damn. It's been brewing. You, damn. It's like, okay, Kendrick, Drake has been a person that supported Kendrick in his in his uh career. Cause there was a point in time where, you know, I mean, Drake is still to me the biggest name and music that's right that's what I think too but like there was a point in time where Drake was you know he at 2011 he was the man Kendrick got a whole song by himself on Take Care you know what I'm saying he had a whole interlude then that's 2011 then you got Good Kid Mad City Poetic Justice they do that record together you know what I mean then um what's the lad is it fucking problems with ASAP Rocky Kendrick and Drake is both on that you know what I'm saying they look like it was some camaraderie Back in those times. Then I feel like when when the meek happened with Drake, I felt like like everybody was kind of like it people was definitely rooting for Meek. I, I could say that from being in, you know, in mute and behind the scenes. Like it's mad people that thought like Meek was the better rapper, mm -hmm. that he was gonna win that situation. Back to back comes out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Control. Like people control to me is not a diss. Like it's not a diss record. I felt like Kendrick had a clever way of poking at everybody that Even he with. that was on a song. Yeah, everybody that he fuck with and just saying, like, y'all can't fuck with me in a cool way. I didn't think it was no malicious or nothing. But it's always been, when that big three shit started, when all these niggas started selling the most records and Drake's still at the top of selling records and having, like, the most notable hit records, Kendrick has his own space. I feel like Kendrick is my favorite out the three. I'm just keeping it a thousand. Like Kendrick is my favorite out the three. This is why this is gonna be so good. This is Ken why Kendrick is my favorite out the three. But that don't mean that just because Kendrick is my favorite don't mean that I don't love Drake as an artist. Sure. Don't mean that I don't love Cole as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. But as that shit is going on, going on, going on, I feel like, and even with that being said, I don't like the way people take to Kendrick as to him being this big bad wolf figure. What you mean? I like. Do you remember the um? The Hillbillies record, the Baby Keem and Kendrick, shit, smoking on top fives, mm -hmm. all that. Shit. Like when Kendrick came out with that verse, everybody was like, "Yeah, he wanted, don't want it with him." That, and I was like, "Really? Like I, I don't get that." As big as of a Kendrick fan as I am, I don't get that. You wonder why? Because for everything I could say, why I love Kendrick more than as an artist, more than, more than I love Drake and I love J Cole, Kendrick ain't battle tested. Mm. Kendrick ain't had a, a a battle in hip hop with nobody. He might have said little shit, clever shit. He might have threw sub because everybody take the Jay-Z approach and sub everybody. All these niggas be talking about each other. But he's never said a name or something very definitive and had to go back and forth. Now, Drake has. Come on. I got it. No, listen. I'm, this is, but this, I got to give respect to the nigga because it started with stay scheming. Let's start, let's go back to 2011. Rich Forever tape with the common shit, him in common. They both might be fucking with Serena Williams, all that type of shit. And Drake, it bothers me when the guys get to acting like the bras. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, he went crazy on this. Common, not so much. Boom. 
Meek, my brother, but I, I back he got back him. Was back, an anthem. Back to back was an anthem. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Look, then tons of other niggas that joke, like tons of other niggas that he done sub. Tiger, like you know what I mean? Like he now when he got the pusher. Don't am I say? But he still. Hold on, when he got the pusher, I never forget this. Pusher, my dog. You know what I'm saying? We cool. Like we, I know pusher for some years. I never forget, because people people thought when I was on Everyday Struggle that like. Because I was like around, because I was with Pusha the day before he like had the album listening, and he and I, I promise you, bro, my my relationship with Pusha, we cool, but we ain't cool to the level where the let me know what he got, what he don't about to do or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I had dinner with the, the night before. Then when it comes out, you know when like Drake comes, Drake came back immediately with Duppy Freestyle, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I ain't, I, I felt like the. And the execution was perfect, like the invoice, you know what I mean? The Steven Victor, all that shit for the album promo, perfect. And I remember like talking to Push, I said, he's like, what you, he's like, what he's like, Push is very like mild mannered, like the way he talks is like very, very calm. He's like, what do you think about it? I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, that's good. I was like, but I don't know what you're gonna say, but I will say that that shit is good. He's like, okay. And then he was like, all right. <laughs> and then he the, already knew it. The story <laughs> added on came out yeah and then it's like okay i felt like that moment for drake was kind of like uh b rabbit versus papa dot mm. in eight mile it's like he got him to the point where he couldn't even say nothing back i thought he just didn't want to say anything back because he, he started to mention 40 i don't even i i didn't even think but I, but, but 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 it was I really 40 yeah but i but but at the same time it's like bro unfortunately 40 gets caught up in, like, the casualty of that, but, like, that's what hip-hop is. Bro, th th that battle is nothing compared to fucking Jadakiss versus Beanie Siegel. Mm. Nothing in, in, in comparison to what these guys were saying to each other, disrespectfully. Like, nothing, bro. Like, this style said it's about to be three dead dogs in the reservoir. You know, the whole song Reservoir Dogs was the song, the first time people heard Beanie Siegel was on the song with the locks. He was talking about J, Dame Dash, and Beans. You know what I mean? It's like, but that's not. I don't. You think that's just as bad as talking about? Oh, like, bro, you want me to start breaking sickness? down the bars? You you want me to start breaking down the bars, bro? No, I mean, Styles I, die on a holiday, kids die on a holiday. Shots like first of the year, um, get shot like the first of the month. No, um, no, Styles die, kids die like the first. Of the month. But shots that, like the first that's of the year. Talking about their like, they like, talked about personal shit towards each other. He said, they, they, you know, he said, um, this cat living in the basement of his mother's but not, house. But not I, about nobody ill. Nah, I mean, but bro, that's just hip hop. You look at yeah, look, no, no, it's hip hop. Drake I'm, is a battle fan, bro. He's been at URL, yeah. like so, like you Multiple know, times, bro. So. And battle is nothing is off limits, like nothing is, bro. Is the, bro, I don't all, even want to repeat that. I don't even want to repeat a camera online that that nigga said when he was dissing Nas. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, Drake. I think Drake is battle tested, and even in the one battle where we would say he lose, I feel like it was justified for him to battle. Out. I see. I can understand. But at that. the same that's time, it. but he, and even still, he still double back and says. Like he still said he didn't say push your name, but he still said to, to to the situation. Yeah, you know what I mean. It wasn't like no real. He ain't dropped no real uh, direct diss, did he? What? I don't, I don't remember. You ain't hear the song on Travis Scott. Sh Probably, I don't remember. No, you didn't. It's all good, bro. You are. Yeah, it's all good. You didn't. But he said he said he, he said that the 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 change that I bought from your boss. We. we oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And he said he said the members ain't even wearing that Louis. He said since Virgil started, they they put that. Sh like, you know what I'm saying? Like he definitely throws out there but the thing about it is i think that like drake as a battler he might not be the most vulgar person but he bro ain't no way if you had any differences with him and you know you had differences with him and people don't know and he say too much in records for to not hear a song be like this like i really believe that he he say when he be saying like privileged rappers all types of songs he be saying he be subbing now he now my thing with drake is bro i always felt like in you know, I had to educate you on this song last time we talked. Takeover, right? But I always felt you like educate me. I, I just did say, I, no, it was a mistake. I, it, 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 you, listen, That's not education. It was just lots of education. It was a lot of education. But regardless, because I that, misspoke. It, whatever you could call it that if you want. You know what I mean? But anyway, like I was saying, this I sound always like I felt, didn't know about Takeover. You didn't, but it, I, I just feel like Drake. Even though Takeover is what prompted Ether, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like Takeover was still a great diss record. And Drake, if I'm him, which I'm not. I'm attacking everybody. It's not just going to be Kendrick. It's going to be Kendrick that get it. Future, Metro, all yeah, of these. Future, yeah, no. Rick that, Ross, all of these. Every, 
No, everybody. Let me, listen, let me, let me go. Everybody. Now. Let me go. go I, ahead. I don't have the, the knowledge and, and, and all We know this, you don't like, have the knowledge. It's all good. Oh my God, this guy. All of that shit where you so musically inclined, but I'm telling you off of feelings, right? Feelings. So I can speak off of feelings. Feelings. First of all, go ahead. It go Drake, Cole, then Kendrick, nigga. And if it's the big That's three. fine for you to feel that way. Cool. One. Two, I just feel like if it had to be a battle, I think. Drake is smashing Kendrick. I feel like a lot of people think Kendrick going to smash smashing. Drake. Smashing. Bro. Now, look, listen, listen. There's one thing to say something about. Smashing is Kendrick is the most overrated nigga oh, out I, I there, don't, like, bro. I don't agree with that. Because like nigga... you, know, you don't have a legitimacy. See, I'm going to tell you the reason why. I'm going to tell you why you feel like that. You... The reason why you feel like that is because of the demo of listener that you are. What that got to do with it? It has a lot to do with because it. Because I don't listen. Like... I can't it, it, get it, in my it, car and bump Kendrick Lamar. That's you know, all right, but that's you though. You're a basketball fan. Yeah. I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but you know. We know you're, you're not really a fan of anything, to I be am. honest. I mean, I like football. And what do, you mean? do you? Yes. Okay. So wait, why are you always trying to play me like that? I'm not, not trying to play you. You be playing yourself. I'm just because <laughs> you said I'm, I'm just, not a fan of anything. I'm, you asking people like, what you mean I'm not a fan of anything? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Listen. <laughs> listen. All right. I'm a because I'm not the biggest basketball fan, but I think this is a good analogy. I feel like Kendrick Lamar is to rap. What Kawhi is to the NBA. It was a it was a point where niggas was on Kawhi Leonard dick. Like they trying to make him make him seem like he was better than LeBron. He he was better than Jordan. Like niggas said that shit. Yeah. Niggas had the audacity to say that. I wouldn't that. call Kawhi Leonard. I, nah, I but wouldn't say it that. Was, but it was people who was doing that though. Am I, I right or wrong? Yeah, it, no, absolutely. So that's all I had tons of arguments about that's Kawhi all I'm Leonard. Saying. But 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 at the same time, wait 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 wait. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold he's on a good. Second. He's very good. For no, sure. He's a Hall of Famer. First ballot Hall of Famer. I'm not. He taking... has two. He has two championships and he has a Finals but he's MVP. Not, he's not LeBron. Bro, he's nobody's LeBron. So, so, so what I'm saying is nobody like, is Drake. So what the fuck is we talking about? So, but, no, no, no. But, 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 but wait a second, we talking about rap though. No, nobody We're talking about is rap. Drake. We're talking about rap now. No, you said. Now, look, this the thing. Me personally, me personally, I like I said, I favor Kendrick out of the three more because I just enjoyed his body's a work of music and the music that he made. That's why I said the reason why you feel the way you feel is because the style of listen, like the, the style of consumer you are, bro. You a nigga that like, for music, for you, prim I'm not going to say primarily, but you enjoy hit records first and I foremost. I don't, though. How? You tripping. How am I tripping? My favorite song is Birdman Jr. What are you talking about? That, that wasn't That was a hit record. Was it? Yeah. That was on the radio and shit? Birdman Jr., I might be thinking about the wrong song. No, it wasn't. I don't think so. It's from the Carter one, Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, know you're talking about. Like, that's my song. favorite song. Yeah, but, 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 I, but no, but, but listen, with the, I'm, now I'm basing this off the conversations that we had. Yes, I... I'm basing this on the conversation we had. Me joking about Sexy Red? No, 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 but, but you enjoy... So you're not gonna... Bro, I enjoy hit records as well. But what I'm saying is, is I enjoy... You don't enjoy hit records? It depends. I don't really care for the radio records, to be honest. I'm not talking about radio. A radio... Just because... Bro... March Madness was not a radio hit and it's one of Future's biggest records. It ain't even yeah, fucking like chart. Yeah. March Madness didn't greatest. even make it the Hot 100. That was one of the greatest. I think Dirty Strike. Finito, yeah. Finito, Finito is Chief, might okay, be Chief cool, Keith's cool. biggest record. Keep, keep That's a hit. Point. Okay. What I'm saying is, is that, so you telling me that Drake as like 8 a, 8 a, 6 a.m. in Dallas, Drake, 8 a.m. in Charlotte, Drake. That's your that's your favorite version of Drake. Bro, what? Yes. Okay, so with that being said, what I'm saying is, is with that being said, knowing lyrical ability, you think that it's a wash. Like, you think, like, Kendrick... Because you said... No, no you no. said he destroys you're right, you're right. So, did he say destroy? I did, I did. I did. Smash, he said whatever. destroy, smash. So, I did. Smash and no, destroy no, no, is the listen, same listen, thing. Listen. Like, if you smash something, yes, yes. you completely destroy yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I just listen, wanted to make sure of that. But I say that because right. of the ability... To go globally on a nigga. So See, you talking about no, no, globally, no, 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 no. Fuck hold that up, global hold shit. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, yeah. wait, no. We can't ignore. This so, shit ain't about no, sales, no, bro. No, listen, listen, though. Go ahead. Wait, no. Back to back, right? Yeah. What I'm saying you married is to Drake that. can rap. Nobody, no, 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 nobody questions if the no, nigga can rap. Let me finish. All right, go ahead. He can rap, but he also can make good music. I don't... Listen, hear me out. I don't... First of all, bro, when it comes to Kendrick Lamar, I probably know or like five of his songs. Let me this tell you shit, something about up, Jay Hill, y'all. I want you to explain something about Jay Hill. Jay Hill is the most rhetorical nigga that you will ever meet in life. This nigga will be like, like you ever seen the movie Pootie Tang? And like the nigga that was like, yo, it's hot outside. Shit? And he'd be like, 
Yo, it's hot out here too. Like, uh, even like I just what am said I, that. What am I repeating? Like, what listen, am I repeating? We know this. Uh, you're very rhetorical. What, what, I'm talking what, to the camera because I want everybody to know that this nigga is very what rhetorical. What am I repeating though? Look, I already said we already no, both agreed that he's ask, the the no, best top level Wayno, nigga. You're not you, listening. You got like I am listening you to you. Shit in your ear. Listen, you asked me. You're why not making do I think, a point, bro. bro. You asked. I didn't finish my point. You ain't let me finish. You made your point. What was the point? You said, "Yo, the nigga is phenomenal at rapping, and he makes great music." So what's the point? Oh my. So what's the point, bro? The thing is, so is nobody so nobody discounts so what's the that. What's the point? What's the point? You, that's the that's point not that you my tried point. to make. You ain't let me finish. Okay, tell me the what next I'm point. What I'm saying is, again... It's going to lead to the nigga making great music. So, yeah, I'm saying those two together. I'm saying Ken Kendrick Lamar, right? He's a good rapper, for sure. He can put a lot of he's words together. He's a great together. rapper. He's, okay, he's, he's a, a great, great rapper. rapper. But even... Let's go back to... You You, you listen to Battle Rap? Yeah. My my perfect example, from my, from, from my opinion, Loaded Lux, right? I seen a, I seen a breakdown of Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, listen, yeah. I seen a breakdown of Kendrick Lamar lyrics, and I'm like, damn, that's phenomenal. That shit is amazing. But guess what? If the whole, if the masses can't understand it, what the fuck you talking about? So hold up, hold up. <laughs> masses can't. So I know you seen, a, it, was, it, was, it was a statement going around, because it, it reminded me of this. Oh my God, Loaded Lux bro. is super good, right? But to be honest, after the Calico shit, that shit got played out. I'm not trying to hear that shit no more. And if you making, and if you saying all of these metaphors, this and nigga all comparing Loaded Lux to Kendrick Lamar, bro, I'm and Loaded about, Lux, you know you my nigga. This nigga's comparing Loaded Lux to Kendrick Lamar in comparison to a Drake versus Kendrick Wayno, Lamar. I'm making a point of how the music is received, bro. So his music, so you tell. I'm right. saying it takes. It's like a fucking math problem when you're trying to put you it. You bugging the fuck out. So what? So you bugging the fuck so out. So a part of being a good artist, right? It's saying some things that's simple enough for niggas to get it. You ever so, listen to the album Good Kid, Mad City? I probably listen to it once. I nah. can't get jiggy with this shit. Nah. That, just, listen, if you, I would rather... You see how you trying to put all these disclaimers on shit? Just say, I don't fuck with that shit. I just, don't. I just, say, just say I no, don't. Just say that. No, but because you probably, you, why, you saying, yo, Kendrick Lamar is a phenomenal guy, and I seen them break oh down and this God, and that and the third, bro. and I seen them do this. Bro, none of that shit matters. Just say you don't no. fuck with the nigga. Listen, Drake... I'm not. I would not take nothing from the nigga, bro. He's proven himself. That that's the whole thing I said from the very start. Drake has proven himself against numerous people. He's been on songs with niggas and had just if not just a better verse. If just as not as good of a verse as anybody he gets on a song with, from the rap shit to the singing shit, whatever. Fact of the matter is, as you said, this nigga is going to smash him. And I'm saying he's going to you, smash but, him. But the reason why you said he's going to smash him is because you said, yo. This nigga's like Calico. No, he's this nigga's like Loaded Lux. Yo, he be saying shit that you can't even understand. Yo, if niggas got if the masses, bro, you're not gonna tell me that Kendrick Lamar is not understood by the masses when he's a a, a big international artist. Bro, all I'm saying is one. You're I think, speaking for one. I'm demographic, speaking for my. Which is you. I'm speaking for my opinion. I don't think I think Kendrick Lamar is overrated. One, I think J Cole and Drake is way better than him, way better than him. And when I'm saying way better, way, way, wow. yes, way better. I got a bro. Wow. Honestly, I would rather listen to Big Sean before I listen to fucking Kendrick Lamar. What are you talking about? So again, what are you talking so about? So anyway, like what I'm saying is it's again, weird. what I'm saying is, bro, if you put them side by side, Drake has just as good as lyrics as Kendrick Lamar. Nobody, and then hold up, but no, rhetorical. and then but no. On top of that, because he makes better music, the shit that I want to listen to, I'm going with Drake. Every time. Because I'm not going to even want to hear a fucking Kendrick Lamar fucking song, to be because honest. Because you don't like Kendrick Lamar. I don't. Yeah, but that he's has... But, but But yeah, listen, listen, listen. He's not overrated. That's one. Man, you he's make not me, overrated. I'm about to get some Baltimore shit. He's some shit. Fuck that nigga. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, that's how a nigga want to say, like... But no, and I this is why. And that, but this is, I'm going to keep it 100. And I, this, I I'm a, oh, hold on. No, 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 you don't. Because the list, this is why people don't like to hear you talk about music. I'm just keeping it 100. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bro, just... because of your fans? No, and not my fans. I'm not talking about my fans, bro. Like, I'm not talking about my fans. I'm just... I'm speaking generally, bro. That's not generally, though. Because right. I have a whole audience and, and, and demographic that I talk to artists every time. So you can't... I'm not talking about... You said this is why people don't hold like on, to... Hold on, hold on, I didn't say... But you talking to an artist and doing an interview... I'm talking about music. Is You talking to an artist and talking about music and their life and whatever they got going on is a totally different conversation than talking to people who are... I like to say, let, let's say well-versed in music or know things in music. Okay. You admittedly, hold on, hold on. You admittedly say on camera, yeah, I don't really know like that. And yeah. that, Okay. So again, this is the reason I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you what you say. 
This I never the, said people didn't want to hear me talk about music, though. I I'm, never said that. I, I didn't say you said that. I'm telling you. You can't tell me that, though, Okay, Wayne, I can't tell you nothing. No, you can't. I can't I, tell you bro, nothing. first of all, with all the, like... You don't is, have no good music opinions. I'm just keeping bro, it a thousand. Bro, that's to you. Now, I'm you pretty just, sure it's I, other you, people. You don't. I'm you don't. pretty sure it's other you people. You said that Kendrick Lamar is overrated. Bro, yes. Where's he overrated at? Tell me who's overrated So you're telling me... Tell me who's overrated. you telling me I'm the only person in the world who thinks Kendrick Lamar is overrated. No, because people think Drake is overrated. Because people think Drake is overrated. I'm asking you specifically what makes him overrated. I'm overrated to me because a lot of... What makes him overrated? Bro, but it's my opinion. What are you talking I'm about? I'm asking you. All right, saying, so, so we can't have, wait, wait, wait. So we can't have a contextual conversation. I'm saying what, what I'm makes saying, him overrated. I'm about to tell you. You just keep saying, yo, he just overrated to no, me because I don't bro. like him. What? Tell me Wayne, what though, makes him overrated you. to you. I'm about to tell you. Okay. He's overrated because a lot of people think he's number a one. A lot I, of people. I just, I just said, I just compared him to, to Ka Kawhi Leonard. He said, said his opinion thing. and said a lot of people. Bro. Go ahead. What the? Wait, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Cause you not you, bro. You said a, you said this is my opinion, and you said a lot of people, bro. Go because ahead. this is my opinion. I see a lot of people with him, and I think they put him. What do you on think? A I'm telling you, this is what I think. Wayne, know what are you talking about? Like you, kind of, you pissing me off, bro. Like listen, listen, for real. All jokes aside, bro. I'm telling you, I think he's overrated because of what people think of him. That's why I say he's overrated because so many people thinks he's rated higher than he's supposed to be. I don't, I don't think that he's that good of a musician when it comes to making music. He makes he, his his lyrical content is really good. I think he's really he's really good at uh, wordplay. But it's, so is a lot of other people out this motherfucker. Everybody try to put him at the top of the like at the top of the rap game, and I don't think he deserved that. Just like when I said Kawhi Leonard, everybody it was not everybody. It was a lot of people who were saying Kawhi Leonard is better than LeBron, and that shit was bullshit. I'm saying that a lot of people. That I see talking about Kawhi, um, talking about Kendrick Lamar supposed to be at the top, and I don't think so. I think the top is the top, and I feel like it's Drake. In my opinion, Drake, J Cole, and we talking about the big three, and then it's Kendrick Lamar by a long shot. That's my opinion. How the fuck is he? <laughs> how can a nigga? How can a nigga that's overrated be top three? I just it, that see this is what I'm saying, bro. By your own metrics, that makes no sense. I didn't make the top three. I didn't no, make no, that no. Big you three, said, you just said no. I, I said right. big three. I mean, if I if I said if top you, three, you no no. Listen, it don't matter if you call it big three, top three, whatever. Because that's what they if call you, it. I don't give a fuck what they call anything. If you if I said what's the top what's the top five rappers right now, and you said yo, I ain't gonna lie, it's Drake, it's Cole, yeah, I, I, and I put Kendrick in I there too. I wouldn't do that though. You just said that. No. Bro, I'm not, but but listen, let me just give you let something. Let me talk to the camera. Real let, quick. let me let me let me just say something to you real quick, bro. Right. Because I'm gonna tell you why you're not making sense. Because all you're talking about is what other people say. No, I'm I, not. I, I don't right, even. Bro, I'm done. I, I can't Wayno. even have this conversation Wayno. anymore, Wayno. bro. You know how I'm what not. What time Wayno? is it? I can't do Wayno. this, bro. You know how I'm not. Because I'm waste, like you, this is you, this you, is crazy. You know how I'm not. Because this is crazy. First, you just said it, right? This is crazy. I don't. I don't even like. like you're this saying crazy. as if I'm like regurgitating what niggas are saying. I don't even list. I don't even look at the blog to know what niggas are saying. So that's why I said. So you said. You listen, bro. Listen to what you just said. I you said, said I would put. You said, Drake, go and tell me what I'm saying. You said you said I would say Drake, Cole, and then I would say Kendrick. Lamar. Wait, no. That's why I said that's talking to you is like bro. fucking having a thorn in my ass. Hold up. Listen, let me talk to the camera. It's a big three. Is it or is it not a big three? No, the, the big so, three is predicated on what you feel, bro. Oh my fucking god! Is what you feel. So the big three. You I'm just talking about, about, hold about up, your hold opinion. Up, hold up, hold up. Is there? I'm asking. Is it or is it not a presumed? Big three, even when he talked about in the rap, he said, What you talk about big three? It's just that that's what they're saying. But I'm, I'm saying, not, I'm asking you, that's why I said I asked you for your and opinion. And I'm telling you bro. my opinion from the big three if, that's if, in the that's the that the industry acknowledges the big fuck three the industry. I asked you about what bro, your opinion is, bro. Is, do y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, am I is it am I that retarded? I literally said I'm saying the, you're that retarded. Bro, I just want you to know three, you're that retarded. The big three that they're talking about on the on the music, right? That Kendrick Lamar acknowledged on the music, that 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 J. Cole acknowledged on first person shooter, the big three, quote unquote, that they're talking about. If we're talking about the big three, which is J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick Lamar, I'm going with Drake, J. Cole, then Kendrick Lamar. Who's your I favorite top say, five rappers? Right that's now. different. I what's, never, your, what's your favorite my top favorite five? Rappers top five right now? is probably not Lil, all time, just right now. Lil Wayne, Jay Z, I'm definitely going Kanye West. Drake has definitely got to be in there. Drake, Drake is fourth. I, no, this. I'm at, no, 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 bro. I'm, no, I'm, 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 no, nah, I'm gonna no, keep it 100, bro. I'm no, about to roll, bro. No, there's no I, order. I, I, I'm you just said, saying top you said five. Drake, there's no order. You said, you said, who you said? You said I said Lil Wayne, Wayne Jay Z, Jay -Z Kanye, Kanye West, Drake, Drake is in there. Yeah, top five. There's no order, bro. Okay, and who else? Um, sheesh, that's a good one. It's really not. What? It's really easy, bro. 
That's why. That, that's it's what, my top that, five. That's what I'm saying. The, the the people. What I'm saying is the reason why I'm, I, the reason why I keep challenging you on what you're saying is because for you to say, yo, da 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 da. da I'm, ex I'm. Let me not say I'm expecting you to say. But if the way you're talking about Kendrick, I'm trying to hear you say. Why do we even consider the nigga top three? He shouldn't even be in a conversation of top three with these two niggas because he's so trash and I would listen to Big Sean before I listen to him. Because that's what you just said. That's all I'm saying, bro. I'm just acknowledging that. that but but, that, but but that's what I'm saying. Fuck the acknowledgement because we, we're having individual conversations about who's the best in this battle. Now, let's... Man, we're we talking about this battle because the three people. That's yeah, it. but you're saying that the nigga is so trash that Big Sean is better than him and you would <laughs> listen to him more. So that's what I'm thinking you're going to say. Then you say Kendrick Lamar, so I'm confused. Like, why the fuck would you even say Kendrick Lamar? I'm that, saying Ke Kendrick, I I'm not putting him in my top five. All right, so what I'm saying is he's not this, even bro. in my top ten. All right, he's not even in your top ten. No. Okay, fine, right? Because he's so overrated. So every reason why you said why you felt like he was overrated, it was based on what you said somebody oh, else yes, felt. That's why I say but, but, he's but, overrated. Yeah, yes. but, yeah, but because but, the people have the ratings. Yes, uh, that's why mm. I say he's overrated. All right, I'm just all right. This is how That's I like feel. That's like if I say a nigga underrated. I'm saying a nigga's underrated because I think he's so good okay. and, the, and, okay. the, and the world okay. don't see it. Okay. I'm s okay. 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 All right. Okay. All I'm saying is this. When it comes to this Drake, Cole, Kendrick shit, when it comes to this Drake, and, and honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. Future is not going to bar you up, but I put Future in the conversation as the top niggas now, too. I'm not mad at that. Because Future... And, and, and the reason why I'm not going to say he's... The uh, uh, reason why I went and say that Kendrick is overrated is because not only is... You know, I think that people try to reduce him when you don't listen to his music to just bars, 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 and not what a nigga be talking about, right? Like, not having a uh, not having music that has commanded every time. Now, don't get me wrong, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, which was his last album, was not my favorite album from him. I didn't really enjoy that album. Out of his discography, I put it at the, at, at the bottom when it comes to his albums. But if you're talking about... Good Kid, Mad City, if you're talking about To Pimp a Butterfly, if you're talking about Damn, just those three albums, bro, alone impacted. This is why I can't call a nigga under, I mean, overrated, is because there's one thing to say about personal opinion, and then when we're talking about masses, bro, the nigga sold millions of fucking records. Mm -hmm. Millions of fucking records. I don't think that um, the, 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 the legitimacy of people's gripes of him being the best is unwarranted. I think that that's very warranted from the standpoint of him making good music because music is subjective, which I always tell you because yeah. you don't like it, but I do. But at the same time, when you say the masses, like you said, oh, no, I like, think but, music is subjective. Wait a second, but like you said, oh, but the masses don't get it, bro. Have you seen a Kendrick Lamar show? Like, like, like I'm talking about a sea of people. A sea of people singing shit word for word, not just niggas that rolling loud, jumping up to everything that has hard 808 drums. You feel me? So I just think that when it comes to him versus Drake, I do not think Drake is a pushover by any means. Drake is not a pushover by any means. I think that it would be great to see them go back and forth because there's so many different things that they're going to pick at each other because they've known each other for so long. Mm -hmm. Then, honestly, fuck just Drake and, and Kendrick. We, I, J. Cole has to say something. Yes. J. Cole, if I'm J. Cole, hey, y'all, uh, I'll be, I don't know when this is dropping, but I'll be at hosting Dreamville next week. I'm going to be out there hosting Dreamville for Amazon Music. You can catch me there. She's going to be on Amazon Prime if you got Prime. But, um. It's Friday? What is it right now? It's Thursday. Thursday. Are we going to try this ASAP? All right, so look. Um, when you been there? I'll be there next Saturday and Sunday What's hosting. The um, the 6th and 7th. All right, bet, bet. Um, if I'm J. Cole, I'm attacking, I'm attacking Kendrick. For sure. I'm, a, I'm definitely attacking Kendrick. Yo, you. As much as I can get up here and talk good about Drake, I love Drake, right? But I'm not trying to hear that bigger person shit today, right now. Nah, well, I don't want to hear that. First of all, you late. You late. Because all that shit you did with Meek, you late, nigga. When well, you got a nigga who can, who can rap. No, not saying Meek ain't... Like, you got a nigga like but Kendrick Lamar. But I don't think he's late. But go ahead, go ahead. You got go a nigga ahead, like Kendrick Lamar who, again, I think he's overrated, but... The reality is the niggas fuck with him, right? You got a nigga who niggas think is number one. You got that nigga. This ain't Pusha T. I'm not saying, like, Pusha T could rap too. But arguably, Pusha T or Meek Mill ain't Kendrick Lamar. And you say he's battle tested? Nah, you ain't battle tested until a big dog step to you and you step back. Because at the, at, at the end of the day... He's battle tested, bro. He's battle tested. Yeah, I, but then uh, also with Jamaican, I don't want to because I don't, keep your point because I want you to. I, w I don't want to forget. This. I just want to make this real quick. Um, you got to keep in mind, bro. Back to back was ten years ago. Damn. 
<laughs> so, 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 so at the same time, like that urgency that Drake Shit. had to make back to back where he was with Meek. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like Drake has been a front runner at, you know, he's been a front runner f- since 2000 fucking nine, damn near. I mean, even like after Wayne kind of passed him the torch, like he's been a front runner, yes. right? But Meek was a big dog too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we we, we didn't look at Meek as he was, we didn't look at Meek like that was going to happen. So Drake is definitely battle tested. I just think that I, the reason why I don't think he's late is because you can't allow people to pressure you into taking the wrong shot. Because Jay Z did that when he did Super Ugly. What what, what what came after Ether. You know what I mean? He he did that with Super Ugly and the shit just went horribly wrong. Now, I feel like a nigga like Drake, one thing about that nigga, he's mad calculated. I get it. Well, you know, and you got a point, right? But it's hard to to give him that grace when we were like when you said it, niggas in the room like, damn, because we didn't know over 10 years it's ago. 10 years ago. So, though. but you got to understand, when we nigga, talk bro. about, when we thinking about Drake and battle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't even think about pushing. We talk, we think about back to back. Yeah. And even on there, how he was saying, he was saying, bro, like, what's taking you so long? So that's what we remember Drake as. So I don't care if it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. That's what we remember you, you for. You accept him how you met him. So it's like. But at the same time, bro, I, and, and for the people that's going to try to. Correct me, yes, back to back was in 2015. It was in 2014. I'm just saying the year is almost fucking over if you ask me. <laughs> this you nigga feel me? Be on <laughs> like, they, but but no, nah, but for real. But I think that like I just think that, bro, because you asked, all right, let's just go back to the question you originally asked. What does this do for like the industry, right? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that like everybody has a side to pick in the sense of what they think is gonna happen. It's mm-hmm. like the fucking finals at any sport, right? It's like Who's going to come out on top? Pause. Like, who, who's going to be the one that's the last person standing in all of this, right? And that's why I said, like, as big as a Kendrick fan I am, and I ain't going to front my nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still defend a nigga as far as him being a great rap artist because he's one of the greatest rap artists of our time, one of the best um artists of our time. He's I good. Still, <laughs> I still think that, like, Drake ain't nothing to fucking play with. Like, I, I, still, I still believe that he's nothing to play with, but at the same time, too, I think... The beauty of this is we don't know what the fuck this nigga's gonna do. Like today, I seen the shit go up with Chubbs. Is like, you seen the shit? Chubbs was like, uh, I told you I don't be watching. You think I be looking at? I don't look at. But this shit. is why I, again why I told. But this brother, why I can't. Uh, but listen, listen. listen what I'm wait, saying, wait, wait. listen. I'm just telling you this, and this is for a person that's in music that does music commentary, letting you know that if you're gonna be talking about music, bro, you gotta be in the know of what's going on because when certain shit comes up. If you not up to speed, people going to pick apart. Whether you think you good or not, people going to fucking pick you apart for it. Now, it doesn't matter. It's all content, like people say. But at the same time, bro, you should hold some space and integrity of saying, yo, I'm going to know what the fuck is going on. So back no, to what fair. I was saying. I, I was just so, depending on the part of the rebuttal. Like, I'm not rebuttaling nobody's shit because I'm not watching these niggas. So, That's Chubbs, really so Chubbs, you know, Drake, man, he said, Aiden Ross, it's a clip of Aiden Ross saying some shit about... um. Yeah, I heard that Kendrick got some crazy shit waiting for him, and that he just waiting for Drake to say the I wrong thing. I seen that. And Chubbs posted on his story and said, "Tell that little boy to drop." He he know like he said something like that. Like tell that little boy to drop. Like he know not to play or something like that, right? So now that's what I'm saying. It's getting spicy because now you got niggas talking. Like ultimately, I don't think nobody gonna get hurt out of nothing like this. It's all rap, you know what I mean? In a competitive sport, in a competitive sense of it, but this shit is about to be fun. Just, we ain't had yo, bro. You gotta think. We ain't had nothing to be this excited about since the Pusha T Drake shit. 